Alright, welcome back to another episode of my movie review series, episode 448. Now, last week I said that, um, last week I said that I was going to do a movie, I was going to do a review on a movie that uh, I have not seen in a very long time. And yeah, this movie, The Rocket, The Rocketeer, I have not seen in a very long time. I have not seen this movie in over 30 years. And yeah, you know, ain't like this movie is like a, it's hard to find. Actually, it is hard to find. Uh, ain't like this movie, uh, you know, thank God for Disney Plus. That's all, that's all I gotta say. Thank God for Disney Plus because you can't find this movie. You're not gonna, you're not gonna watch this movie anywhere on, uh, on any channel. I don't think Disney Channel have played this movie at all in the last 30 plus years but yeah i tell you man yeah i tell you yeah you know with uh disney plus though you know we got uh we got the rocketeer watch the watch the movie from beginning to end and yeah nostalgia was not on my side when i saw this movie for the first time in over 30 years but I tell you something, the movie is pretty good. The movie is pretty good, though. It is pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to give it a nice little fair rating because you know that's what I do. But yeah, you know, but yeah, you know, yeah, The Rocketeer, 1991. Yeah, Billy Campbell in this movie, Alan Arkin in this movie, Jennifer Connelly's fine ass is in this movie, James Bond himself, Timothy Timothy Dalton is in this movie, and I tell you. And Terry O'Quinn, the stepfather himself, yeah, he plays Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes, one of the most important men in American history. And yeah, I tell you, man, this movie, you know, this movie about a uh, uh, a stunt pilot who have um, found this, uh, who found this, um, this, uh, this uh, rocket pack. It's very, uh, it's very important item. Yeah, this uh, this rocket pack that was um, um, created by Howard Hughes, created by Howard Hughes, stolen from him. It's yeah, it's, sto it's stolen from him for for the um yeah the the Nazis stole stole it from him. He had it stolen back, but then some gangsters found out about this. But there's a there's a rocket power flight pack, and they were trying to steal it. And uh, the pe and, uh, the people that was running from the gangsters, and the police, you know, they hit it with a uh, with some type of duplicate. And yeah, you know the uh, the the police or the FBI anyway, you know, you know they um they found the the duplicate 100 percent fried because the car crashed into the gas station, and then yeah. And then yeah, you know the uh, the stunt pilot Cliff Cliff Secord, you know he found it. He and uh, his buddy PV, you know the um, the uh, mechanic, you know he um, you know they uh, they hit it. They uh, they uh, test flight the whole thing, and you know Cliff thought you know maybe he could save his career, he save his flying career. Because you know the uh, the you know the plane that uh, he was um, um, test flying, it got crashed in the whole commotion of uh, of the whole, whole car chase that started in the beginning of this movie. I hope I'm not losing you guys over this, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I tell you, yeah, once Cliff, you know, get used to, get used to the uh, flight pack, you know. He starts to uh, he starts to uh, try and uh, save his uh, flying career. All the while, his fine ass girlfriend Jenny, played by Jennifer Connelly. Oh my gosh, she is hot in this movie. Damn. You know this is after career opportunities also. So <laughs> yeah, she still had it going on, if you know what I mean. So yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, at, at one point, you know, the camera peered down to her, uh, to her boobs. I mean, what the fuck was that all about? This is a Disney movie, and you gonna give give us a good shot at her, at her boobs? She's covered, of course, but still. <laughs> but hey, you know, I'm not complaining. But still, I, um, yeah, all the while, you know, his girlfriend Jenny, you know, she's um being neglected by this whole thing. But you know, he tried to attempt that. You know, once um he uh get recognized as being the Rocketeer, that's what the media called him, of course. You know, he tried to tell her that, but you know, she um she um gets bombarded by this crooked actor named Sinclair. Um Sinclair, Sinclair, Sinclair. Oh fuck it. What the fuck his name? Yeah. <laughs> Sinclair. Yeah, she gets bombarded by this actor by this crooked actor named Sinclair, who later is revealed to be a, a Nazi spy. And yeah, and he wants to fly pack. He wants to fly pack back, pretty much for the Nazis. So yeah, you know. So yeah, you know, I thought, yeah, through all of this, it is the uh, the fly pack that is the 100% MacGuffin of this whole story. And yeah, Cliff, you know, you know, he got the fly pack. You know, he gave it up so he could save Jenny. But you know, but you know, Howard Hughes, you know, he wants to he wants to pack back. Cliff promised that he would give the flight pack back to him as soon as he, he saves his girl. Now, now all about all this is happening, Hughes, you know, he rescues both Cliff and Jenny because they was on top of the, the, this, uh, this giant Nazi blimp called the, um, Lu the, uh, the Lumenborg. So yeah, on top of the Lumenborg, and this son bitch is on fire, you know, Howard, Howard Hughes, the aviator himself. I tell you, man, he's one of the most important being, one, 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 one of the most important people in American history. But yeah, him and PV, you know, they come, they, you know, they come super in for the save. And yeah, you know, you know, you know, early in the movie, the flight pack caught a stray bullet. So, you know, but, you know, it was all passed up with chewing gum. Very special chewing gum that Cliff uses, you know. So yeah, some bitch work too, because you know once the uh, once he, once the Cliff was starting to get, once he started to um, give up the flight pack, you know, yeah, he uh, covertly m removed the uh, the chewing gum. <laughs> Trying to get this in camera, he tried to yeah, he he covertly removed the chewing gum. And yeah, gave it to Sinclair. Sinclair is going to use the pack, fly out. But that, with that pack, you know, once it uh, ignited, it just burned Sinclair straight into a human fireball. I tell you. I'll tell you something, though, man. This movie, though, this movie, The Rocketeer, you know, it is, it is a pretty good movie. You know, set in the 1930s. The story is set in 1930, 1938, mind you. You know, a year before the uh, the World's Fair, which was, you know, like a huge global event, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not really up to my American history at that point. Not yet, at least. I'm still studying. You know, I'm a student of history, so... You know, you know what, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, this movie's set in the 30s, you know. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie to watch. You know, it's not action-packed as I thought it would be, you know. Don't forget, I have not seen this movie in over 30 years. But yeah, you know, it is a, it is a, it is something to see, you know. I think it's one of those, one of those movies that you got to see, you know, at least one time. Because, you know, even though it's not action-packed, you know, the excitement. That I thought was there. It's not exactly there, but the story is pretty good, though. You know, you gotta give up to the story. So yeah, with the story as it is, you know, and you know, with the uh, visual effects as it is, they need to update the. You know, they need to uh, clean up the uh, the visual effects of this movie because 
you know, it is one of percent dated, especially if you watch it in HD form on Disney Plus. It is one of percent dated. So yeah, they really need to clean up you know, the visual effects. You know. But yeah, other than that, you know, it is a straight up four out of five. I mean, I gotta I gotta say that. Straight up four out of five. Really good story. Jennifer Connie is one hundred percent gorgeous in this movie, especially especially when she's wearing that yellow dress, um, especially when she's wearing wearing that white that white dress. You know, seeing Timothy Dalton play, seeing seeing James Bond play a villain in this movie, you know, a Nazi spy in this movie, really good change for the guy. I tell you, you know? <laughs> especially at that time, because you know around that time, you know, um. He was just out of playing Bond, you know. You know, you know, this movie came out in ninety one. He got done playing Bond in uh in eighty nine. So yeah, you know. Yeah, he was just out of playing Bond, you know. You've seen him play um this villain right here, you know. Really good change for him, you know. But yeah, you know, this movie, yeah, it's a really good four out of five. I mean, not really much I can say about it, but that's my review jacket. I'm sticking to it. Yeah, The Rocketeer, you know, really good story. Not quite up on the uh, the action as I thought it would be, considering the fact that I have not seen this in over 30 years. But yeah, next week though, next week, next week, I thought I was done. I thought I was out of the shadows. I thought I was out of the darkness. But God damn it, HBO just had to pretty much fuck me over with the, uh, the schedule. So yeah, I'm going back into the darkness. I'm going back into the shadows. Next week is another horror review. I'm trying to I'm trying to get a break from this stuff. But now I gotta go back into it. Next week is another horror review. I gotta deal with the red balloon and this motherfucking clown. Welcome to the Losers Club, asshole. Check out my other shit right here. Subscribe to me right here. But in the meantime, in between time, Jack, this show is off.